once you already find IC and VCE is really easy to find. The way you have to think about it is just concentrate on this part of the circuit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and redraw that part of the circuit. And I'm also going to draw the current. So we have IC. Since this is the emitter, I mean the collector. And IE for the emitter. And you can use the uh, relationship IE equals to IC beta plus 1 over beta this is this is the voltage we want to find vce and uh, if you notice we have another voltage here at the uh at resistor rc and another one here at resistor re So this is our voltage VCE. It's going from VCC, I mean VCC. It's going from VCC all the way to ground. So VCC is the addition of these three voltages. So I'm going to go to a new page. Okay, so uh, I said VCC is the other three voltages added together. So then that means, uh, but we just want VCE, so solving for VCE, this is what we have. And of course, we need to find the voltages VRC. VCC is usually given to you. So VRC is nothing more than IC times RC. VRE. It's just IE times RE and you can find IE using this formula so this formula is going to give you your voltage VCE and uh, sometimes you don't have this transistor RE just a uh, straight line so in that case, that means that RE is equal to zero. So then this term will go away. So then this term will just go away and you will just be left with this two. But uh, for when you have an RE, then you have to take this other term into account. So that's the uh, general formula that you want to use.